Hi guys, Wandersun here. I will start this video today showing two programs that were made with Qt Quick to understand the power of this tool. The first program is Corsair IQ and was created using Qt Quick and C++. It has a modern interface with several animated features, it has drag and drop features, all its controls have been customized in a modern way, and I found the work done for this application very good. The second is Autodesk Maya, it is made using Qt Quick and Python for the most part, others in C++ and C. It is the most used software in big studios like Disney or Pixar, Warner Bros. ILM, and many others for the creation of 3D modeling and animation. Now that you know the power of QML, let's start learning about layouts. Let's create a new project by clicking on the new button. Then click on application, Qt for Python, and choose the option Qt for Python, Qt Quick Application and click choose. I will call this project Qt Quick Application with Python. Choose your project directory, and then click Next. Choose PySide in version 5.15, and click Next. I will choose to add a Git control version, after that click on Finish. Now we have our first project created, in the Edit tab is where we will edit our scripts and QML files. To view the interface click on design, and here is our main window, this is the window that will give us a preview of what we are going to do. I'll start by changing the window title and dimensions, change the width to 1000 and height to 580. To run our application just click on the run icon, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus R. Click on Save All and we will see the window of our application running. We will add new controls for our application. Click on QML Imports and then on Add Imports and uncheck the Qt Quick Controls option. Going back to QML types we now see many more controls available. Now let's learn how layouts work in our application. Drag a rectangle into the application. Double click it to change the background color and click on OK. Now let's run our application. See that the rectangle is not responsive. To change this option click on layout, and we will see three anchoring options. The first line up around the edges as I will show. Apply a margin of 100 for each target. Let's run our application. See that now it follows the margins of our application aligned with the parent control. Let's first rename our window to main window and our rectangle to BG. I will now show the function fill parent where it will fill all the parent control that is inserted. This makes it fill the entire space in which it is inserted. Let's run our application and see how the alignment will look. The last option is horizontal and vertical anchoring. This option aligns the control to the center. Let's run our application and see that the component now remains in the center.
Just correct the title that I wrote wrong, and let's start now to make the basis of our application. I will start by editing the background color, this rectangle will be the background of our application. In this project, I will use the colors of the Atom Editor, if you want to use the same colors just copy the HTML color shown in the video. In layout we will use left, right, top and bottom anchors, and with a value of 10, in each field. Let's run the application to see how the alignments are. Change the main window background to transparent color. We will insert another rectangle, it will be the alignment base for all the content. Before we add a border to our BG, click on the rectangle BG, and go to color of the border. To see it better just increase its dimension. Change the border value to 1. We will use the layout as fill and put the margins with the value 1. Click on the icon shown in the video to make the background color transparent. Rename this rectangle to App Container. We will now create our top bar. Drag a new rectangle into the App Container and rename it to Top Bar. We will use top, left and right anchoring. Put zero in all margins, this will fix the top bar at the top of the application. Set the height to 60. Let's run our application. I will change the background color of the top bar to a darker color. Once this is done, we will create another rectangle, and in layout we will use the anchor as fill. In the top margin, select the target as top bar, so it will use the top bar as the alignment base. We can use alignment based on other controls. Let's reset the values to zero. You can test other values if you want to better understand how the alignment works. Rename this rectangle to Content and make the background color transparent. Create another rectangle again, it will be responsible for the bottom of the left menu. In this menu we will use the anchorage top, left and bottom with values 0 in the margins and the width leave with 70. We will use the same color tone as the top bar. Rename it to left menu, and let's test how our application is doing. In the next video we will continue to build the front end of our application. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.